Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin here with a review of the Tiki microphone, and this is from Blue. And Blue's been doing some pretty innovative stuff with uh, with microphones on uh, the PC and Mac, and this is their latest product, and it's uh, designed to really enhance the microphone that might be built into your computer. And I have to say on the Mac, the built-in mic for Skyping and that kind of stuff is pretty good, but um, let's see if this one uh, is any kind of improvement. Um, it has a nice package to it. Uh, so we're going to crack it open. It's got three different modes and we're going to test all of them. Okay, well here it is out of the box. It is uh, pretty tiny, not very big at all. Uh, the ma marketing materials state that there's actually two microphones. There's one on the front and one on the back. Uh, there's also a mode selection button on the back here also. It looks like it's touch sensitive, so it doesn't actually work like a button in the sense that it pushes in. Uh, and then inside the case we have uh, an extension cable. I would imagine this is handy for uh, doing a two-person uh, recording and there's an instruction guide here as well um, So let's plug this thing in and let's uh, see how it does Okay, now we have the microphone plugged into my Mac here and I'm putting it at a pretty fair distance away Just to kind of get a sense as to how it how it sounds and as I, as I switch over to the mic You can hear that it doesn't sound all that great now right now It's in its intelligent speech mode which blue recommends as something you would use for Skype and voice over IP calls so uh, perhaps the, I guess it's really focusing on trying to get rid of noise, and this room is a bit noisy because I have a fan running on a hard drive in the room with me here. Um, but what you can do, according to the instructions, is switch it over to uh, its other natural voice mode, and that's where it'll uh, supposedly sound a lot better. So um, you have to push into the end here to get it into that mode, and there it goes. And then it lights up purple, and now as you can hear, we're in the natural speech mode. So uh, it does have uh, two different settings on it, and you can hear for yourself how it sounds. Now, this is, again, pretty far away, so we're going to try a, a closer test and hear how it sounds there. Okay, I've got it now plugged in and closer with its little dock here. Um, it does sound better when it's closer. I think that's just an obvious thing. Um, in this mode, in the blue mode, it really works very hard to get rid of the noise, and that sometimes comes at the expense of audio quality. So it's really good if you're making an, a voice over IP call in a noisy room, but Really, no technology will make up for a lot of noise that you really can't uh, deal with. So it's always good to have a quiet place to go. Now we're going to switch it back over to the podcast mode, the natural sound mode. And I should add that this, this mode switch is really not as simple as a tap as they say it is in the instructions. You really have to hold on to it. And due to the weird connector that it has, uh, it doesn't always... Um, it, it gets loose in, in your USB port, and I can see that being a bit of a problem. So... You just got to be careful with it when you're when you're touching it, and I would actually uh, suggest either using it in the dock at all times, um, or just be very very careful and behold two ends of it when you do hit that mode button because it is not a tap; it's an actual hard press to get it to switch over. So um, you can hear now we're in the purple mode, and it sounds okay. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds pretty good for its size. Um, maybe it's good for a two-way conversation on a podcast if you really are stuck in looking, you know, looking for a, a mic to, to record something quickly. Um, but it's really not all that impressive or all that of an improvement over what might already come on board a Mac. I, I have seen some uh, Windows PCs with really lousy microphones on board, and this might be a better choice for Windows users who are really not happy with the audio quality coming out of their microphones for Skype and other things. So uh, that is the Blue Tiki. This is Lon Seidman. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will be back soon with some more great products to review. Thanks again.